I'm going to show you how our POS works here at Blank. First, when you arrive for your shift, you're going to sign in. Press the manual login and enter your password, followed by OK. It'll ask you if you want to clock in. You can say yes. Next up, we're going to start a table. For instance, we're going to say that table 11 has four guests sitting at it. So we're going to click table 11 and it's going to ask you for the number of customers. You can select four and it will open to the order screen. We have a couple of different scenarios here at Plank on how you're going to ring in your food. The first is the guests want the food as ready. That means they're going to eat tapas style and they're having a whole bunch of things to share for the table. The second is people will want food that as, is as an appetizer and as a main. If, for instance, your table is sharing a whole bunch of items, you can click on the items. So they want the dum sum, they want the bao, and the say cheese. They're sharing all of them, and they also want a Big Bird pizza and a Margaritaville pizza. Down here in this line, we're going to say as ready. That's going to let the kitchen know that they can put it up as soon as the food is ready and the food will come out in waves to the guests. Now we're going to leave the table and that'll send the chit to the kitchen. Let's say we have a different table that wants to order their food more as a traditional appetizers and mains. What we'll do is let's say they're sitting at table 10 and there's three guests. Uh, we want a dum sum and a zabao as their appetizer. So we're going to put dum sum and bao as app. If they also know what they want as their main course, we're going to say pork belly and cauliflower fritters, and we're going to say as main. This will let the kitchen know to send out the dum sum and the bao first, and then the kitchen will wait and send out a pork belly and a cauliflower fritters a little bit later. You don't need to worry about timing the food. The kitchen will put it out when they see fit. It's important to note that anything above the line that says as app will come out as an appetizer and anything that is above as main will come out as a main. If you've already rung this in at this point and the customer has changed their mind and you hasn't, haven't sent it to the kitchen yet and you want to add another appetizer, just click anywhere above the as app button and add what you want to add. There you go. We're going to leave the table which will send the chit to the kitchen. When the guest is ready for the bill, we're going to go back into the table, table 11, and press print receipt. The guest receipt will print up and we will present this receipt to the guest. Once the guest is paid, you can hit finish to finish the bill. Let's just say the guest has paid a total of $100 on Visa. What we're going to say here is the total uh, before tip was $89.84. We're going to type in that they paid $100 on Visa. Okay? Press Apply Visa and it'll show you that your tip was $10.16. At this point, you're going to print the receipt again to include with your cash out and press Apply Visa and the table is closed.